fall in love with the only guy who refuses to have sex before marriage. That again. Sheldon, I can't be a hypocrite. I can't preach patience and abstinence to teenagers. I know, I know. But you respect that in me, remember? My brain respects it, yes. Other parts of me aren't taking it so well. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, honey. Please. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Come here, no. Do we dispel the myths about black men and Jewish women, or what? <laughs> but, Goody, hmm. can we at least tell your parents how we feel about each other? Uh-uh. But I want them to know that you love me. I do too, Markowitz, but I also want to live. This is not the time. Come on, there couldn't be a better time. Today, at 11 a.m., you, their son, Thurgood Marshall Cumberbatch, not yet out of business school, is going to be on Face the Nation. How many times do they see a 23-year-old black conservative on a national news show? They're going to be so proud. My mother, maybe. If I let my hair grow back. <laughs> my father wouldn't be proud of me if I looked like Don King. He's more fonder of my views than you are. How many people are fond of your views? <laughs> I mean, none of your white professors, very few blacks. I thought you said I got that right. Yeah, well... It was one thing to think like you during the Reagan Bush years, but now you're so courageous. <laughs> Hopelessly misinformed, but courageous. That's why I find you irresistible. <laughs> so, who tells them this is real serious? You? Mm -mm. Me? No. Okay, me. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Cumberbatch. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Guess what? Don't you dare. <laughs> Shirley came over just to watch Face the Nation with us. Joy to the world. How <laughs> was church, Mom? Church was fine. It was the blasphemous heathen sitting next to me that spoiled my beautiful Sunday. Uh, Rose? The next time I go to church with you, lover man, one of us is gonna be in a box. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen him in church. Reverend Solomon preaches a killer sermon. Uh, Rose. Killer sermon. <laughs> killer sermon. Lifts the congregation's heart so high, everyone's about to touch that golden thing. <laughs> and what's Fat Albert here doing? <laughs> Shifting around, squirming and grinding his big old cheeks into the pew like his shorts on fire. <laughs> I couldn't help it, Rose. That man's a fool. He's my pastor, Ernie. He's a horse's ass, Rose. <laughs> you care about me, Ernest? What kind of question is that, baby? Then don't mess with my church, don't mess with my pastor, and please don't mess with my Sunday. Now, when I sign on with you, you signed on with that. Matter of fact, I had you sign on with that long before I ever let you sign on with me. <laughs> This is so thrilling. Um, Cheryl. Say what? What? I, not the heat, not the friction, but the ability to, to express feelings. It's terrific. That's something they teach you in temple with them funny little beanies? 